so I ain't got much to say to be honest. I'm just I'm just saying this to let everybody know why I'm going to be away from YouTube for a bit. Well, at least away from FIFA. I'm tired of playing PSG all the time. I'm tired of having to use France to beat them. I'm tired. Sometimes you just want to use other teams. You want to play with other teams. You, you don't want to see Kylian him. You don't want to see him in every single match. Uh, when I'm France, he's there. I never use PSG, but I play them all the time. I played in five games in a row. I'm, I'm just tired of the game. Like, the game is supposed to be for fun. I leave stressed. I've won Division 1 11 times. It's not about winning or losing. It's about... I'm tired of playing the same team. Neymar cool. Neymar is a great player. Neymar is one of the best players in the world. He truly has 5 star weak foot. He truly has 5 star skill. He's one of the most agile, direct, skillful wingers in the world. And he has been for a very long time. I'm fine with how he is on the game. Because he is that good. Whether Neymar's in 91 or when he was in 83. He was still 5 star both. He was still skillful. He was still agile. He was still effective. Neymar's a great player. I'm cool with that. I accept that one. Now we'll move on to, we'll move on to the rest of the team, excluding the, the rest, the the two, others of the front three. We'll move on to the rest. So, PSG didn't win their league last season. I believe Lille won it. So their players shouldn't be that highly rated. For as good as Kimpembe is, as good as their goalkeeper is, and as good as whomever is, okay, you got Ramos, cool. You got Hakimi, cool, cool. You got Ronaldo, cool. But the team still didn't win the league last season, so they shouldn't be that good. Cool. Next. We'll go on to Messi. Messi, Messi's arguably the best player ever. I'm fine with him being a bit glitchy. I'm cool with that. I'm actually quite fine with that. When Messi's thrown goal in this game, it's a goal, and it's been th it's been like that for a very long time on FIFA, and I'm fine with that. To be honest, he's the he's arguably the best player ever. That's cool. That's cool. But what I didn't like is that on FIFA 21, when Messi moved to PSG, they moved him there. But they didn't move Ronaldo there. They didn't even move Hakimi, Ronaldo, uh, who else? Hakimi, Ronaldo, Ramos. They didn't move them there. Donnarumma, they didn't move them there. But they moved Messi there. That, that, that catalyzed PSG becoming this annoying team. So then, we'll go on to... <laughs> No, we're not, we're not done with Messi. So Messi, this is another issue I have with Messi. Messi's right foot, he shouldn't be able to score goals with his right foot like that. That's not real. That's not real. It's not real at all. They need to sort that out. His right foot ain't that good. He should not be able to bang shots with his right foot. I don't care. I don't care. That's not real. They need to stop that. His right foot should be two star. And even though it's free, he's still banging shots with his right foot. It's, it's st stop it. It's kind of like that with Salah. When Salah's thrown goal right foot, he still bangs it in. That if you want to make their right their weak foot free start, they shouldn't be able to do that. I'm not done with Messi, but shout out Salah. Salah's a baller. No put on that good in the game, but Salah's a baller in comparison to PSG, obviously. No one is. So then we go on to um. We go on to Messi, the corner, the corner trick. When you get a corner on the, when they get a corner on the right, they pass to Messi, runs across the edge of the box, or R one, he he finesses it. The goalkeeper knows where it's going. He just stands there like a mug. They need to sort that out because Messi does not score like that. And this rant is really long, but I'm 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 away. I'm gonna have to explain why I'm off FIFA to be honest, because it's ridiculous. EA really need to sort this out. Next. <laughs> Mbappe. Firstly, apparently they they make him two inches taller. He's apparently two inches taller in the game than he actually is. That's another glitch. I don't I don't care if he's on the cover of the game. The guy is not that good. 
The guy's a great player. This is taking nothing away from him. But he shouldn't be that good because not even Messi, when he was in his prime, was that good on the game. Not even Ronaldo, when he he was in his prime, was that good on the game. And Mbappe is not bet was is Mbappe right now is not better than Messi and Ronaldo in their prime, at all. But obviously, I understand with it being a game and his build. I understand why he's a bit glitchy. I understand it because he's taller than Messi, he's faster than Messi. I understand it. He's five star weak foot, five star skill. Mm, do I have a problem with that? No. Five star skill, mm, he tries to do skills. He's not Neymar with it. He's, his ball control is a bit loose. He has a loose touch, but his speed makes up for it. So, mm, a five star weak foot, I don't really see it. I'd say four on four. But if they want to give him five star skill, all right. But I'd say four star weak foot, I don't see the five star. Cool. The speed, the finishing, whatever. He scores a lot of goals. Cool. They should have a thing in FIFA that big game players. Because there's certain players that score a lot of goals. But in big games, in tense moments, they miss. And that's Higuain's one, for example. They should they should have that. Kind of like in 2K when you're shooting a free throw late and it and it shakes. But we'll move on to that. Because we're not done with this. We're not done with this run. That's not, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. So... Mbappe and this game the through ball has been messed up you can't play through balls on the floor anymore and what people as well as me have, have figured out is that you can lob the ball all you have to do is lob the ball into space and Mbappe gets the ball when he's one on one goal automatic I can post a compilation of my goals my opponent's goals as soon as you lob the ball of Mbappe as soon as you lob it through you just lob it into space. He'll out strength. He'll out muscle. He'll out pace any defender. Even when you tackle him, he will tackle you. If you tackle him, the ball go into space. He'll get the ball back. It's ridiculous. They need to sort it out because it's, it's not funny anymore. It's not. It's not even real. And I don't even like it. I won. I've won Division One eleven times, and you, it comes to a point you just realize. Mm, all I've got to do is find space with my who whomever I'm with. Lob it through. If, the, if there's enough space between him and the defender, he gets there first. He runs in on goal. Left foot, right foot, corner angle. This angle, it doesn't matter where it is. It's a goal. With Mbappe, it's a goal. They need to sort that out. This is it's fake because the significance of what I'm saying. I've been playing FIFA for so long. I played FIFA 5, 4, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I've played all of them. And no player has been this glitchy. This is not real. It's unacceptable. No player has been this good. It's not funny. No player. I've Messi in his prime. Ronaldo in his prime. They were not this good in the game. Why is he this good? It doesn't make sense. It's ruined the game. It's actually ruined the game. The guy is not real. It's ruined the game. The game's not fun anymore. The game's not fun. The guy is not real. Look at the goals I've scored with him. You just lob it into space. And the guy has 5 star skill. And he has 5 star weak foot. It's not... Mess... Messi is the best player to ever play the game. Or let you, if you feel Ronaldo is the best player, Ronaldo is the best player to ever play the game. And when they're in their primes, in like FIFA 13 and FIFA 14, FIFA 12, they weren't this glitchy. They weren't this good. With Messi, you still have to know how to use him. You can't just run; you'll get gymmed. You gotta move around, slow down, ball, roll it. You can't. Yes, when you're throwing goal, cool. He's dangerous and he's fast and he's agile. But you can't just run. With Ronaldo cool, back in the day, on the left wing, you can just run. One on one is automatic. But you can still tackle him. I remember when I'd use Dortmund, Pishek isn't like bloody Mykon or the strongest or the fastest defender ever. But when I'd use Dortmund, Pishek, if I won the ball, I won the ball. He wasn't the fastest, he wasn't weak, but he wasn't the strongest. If I won the ball, I won the ball. I could tackle Ronaldo. 
But when he's when he was free on goal, cool, it was automatic and you won't catch him. But that's Ronaldo. Mbappe has zero Ballon d'Ors. And this is not me tearing him down. I'm saying it's fake what they've done. Even when he uses himself, he should be like, nah, this ain't real. I don't care if he's on the cover. He is too good in this game. He is the most effective player I've used on this game by far. Before, it was Virgil for Liverpool in, I'd say FIFA 20, 20 and 19. Especially 19, I believe it was. When you tackled someone, it was it was impossible to get past him. And even if you, you even if you'd been defeated, skilled, you would just shift, shift them off the ball. But cool, he was that good. He was that good, and it's not like he was blitz. Like you'd still have to do something. You could still score a goal, but he was that good in real life. He was that good. But that was still somewhat fair. Now, Mbappe is a glitch. He is a glitch. He is a glitch. It's not fair. And not only is he a glitch, he's playing with Neymar and Messi. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that's it. So, you guys comment what games you want me to play. Because I'm going to start playing Madden now. Eventually, I'll come back to FIFA. But what EA need to do? Because if you're matching teams with that the same quality, nobody, not even Bayern, are as good as PSG. No one is as good as PSG. The only teams that are as good as PSG are United in 2007, 2008, United in 2008, 2009, Barcelona in 2009, Barcelona in 2011, overall. Because they had highly rated plays in every position, not just up front. Barcelona 2015, when they had Messi, Suarez and Neymar. Other than that, there is no team that is good on as good on the game as this. So nobody, this ain't 2K when you can play historical teams. Or all-time teams, you can't. You use what the world is now. So it's unacceptable. They need to sort it out. The only team that PSG should be matched with is PSG. Let them play themselves and get tired of it. And France. That's it. Liverpool. Tottenham. All of them should never be matched with PSG. You're outmanned. So yeah, that's my rant over. I'm done. I'm done with this game. The only reason why I'm not selling it is because... Like, I find Ultimate Team boring. I find Ultimate Team boring, I, I can't lie. It just, it's, it's just boring, I'm not in secondary school anymore. It doesn't entertain me. So, yeah, it's just new, ga different games now. Maybe my, I'll play the Switch more Mario Kart, because I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this, I'm sorry. The only thing that's going to get me back is if everybody wants me back. Other than that, I'm tired of this, man, I'm done. Yeah, that's it.